That's a good, good comparison. Meteorologist Peter Hall joins us now with what we're looking at on that camera and what you can expect the rest of this evening. Peter? Yeah, we've got you covered. We do have some rain as expected moving through the area as we finish up this afternoon and go through dinner time or so. But I actually think a lot of this rain, other than the eastern, far eastern stretches or southeastern stretches, should be out of the way before sunset. Oh, well, there we go. Falls to surface experts live triple Doppler radar showing you the rain. Some of the heaviest rain right now from Central Square to Constantia, Bernard's Bay and all the way to Rome and also Camden and Florence all the way to east towards Boonville and Old Forge and closer to, let's say, Onondaga County. It is raining, but look, the rain is moving in from west. And while there's one downpour by Brutus, the rain tapers off here in Wayne County. So things are moving pretty quickly on the radar. Watch this. This is the one hour loop. And just from the one hour, it went from Rochester to what is that about Cato Meridian? So you know, another hour will probably be over here the backside. So that's why I think once we get past another hour, hour and a half, a lot of this rain is going to be south and east of Syracuse. So only the eastern and southeastern sections will have the best chance of any more rain. And even that will be moving out. We have hit our first 80 degree day today. We did it very late this afternoon. Interesting stuff. You might be thinking, wow, okay, it's way above average. 67 is the normal high. So this must be an early time for 80. Actually, the answer is no. Typically, our first 80, you look in the stats, our first 80 is April 29th. It's happened as early as March 14th, believe it or not, and as late as June 27th for our first 80 degree day. And by the way, the last time we hit 80, seven months ago. So if you love warmth, you probably love today. But then you're not going to love what's next. Again, if you like warmth, because the 80 is exiting. We're 86ing the 80. It's out of here because it is not going to be nearly as warm the next several days. We'll probably actually have a semi-decent Thursday, which we were worried about some rain, which now looks to our south. So mixed sun and clouds Thursday brings us back to near normal into the mid 60s. But we do have some worst weather on Friday. Worst weather, meaning it gets worse and then the worst weather of the seven day forecast. So expect rain and probably mostly 50s. The weekend is still a little touch and go. So let's talk about that. Um, some drizzle in the morning Saturday. We'll try to get some sun out, but then some scattered showers develop 63 Sunday morning rain. We'll try to break some sun through, but it's a struggle. If the sun only is limited, it's only upper 50s to lower 60s by 8 o'clock. The best chance of rain is far east. Otherwise, Clouds and breaks of sun at sunset, then overcast. The clouds will try to break up some patchy clouds a little bit, but then a mix of sun and clouds. And look, Thursday's actually shaping up to be OK at this point, which was something that wasn't always in the cards for Thursday. That's why we tell you to check back, because sometimes the forecast will change. Right now, we've got rain Thursday night and Friday, 58. Clouds drizzle, some sun and pop up shower Saturday. Rain Saturday night, Sunday morning, then breaks of sun Mother's Day, 60. And then temperatures trying to increase for the early part of next week. Stanley Law Skywatch does look ominous on the Regency Tower camera, but this is just an overcast sky with some light rain. You're up to date with the forecast. Back to you guys. All right, Pete, thank you. It is time now for Capture.